Yo, what's going on everybody? It is your boy Crypto. Welcome back to another video and today we have an Eminem remix of Killer from his last album Music to be Murdered by Side B and this features Jack Harlow and YB and Corday. I'm sorry, it's just Corday now. It's not YB and Corday. This is going to be dope. Jack Harlow, a fellow Kentucky boy, salute. And then Corday is absolutely sick nasty with it. So I am definitely excited to get on into this. And then obviously you got the legend Eminem on the track and we're going to see what this remix is about, but uh Speaking of legend. Okay, everybody here, sit down. I've been playing Raid for a little bitty bit now. It's been talked about a couple times. There's a bunch of stuff inside, and I don't want anyone to miss out. I've been assassin the asses with Roxanne daily. In the PvPs, I didn't have to pay fees. Super strong against bosses. He don't take nonsense. Like, quick to lay another player out unconscious. And Turd Void hits hard, harder than most in the whole damn game. With him, I can boast. If you go toe to toe with Bro, you'll go ghost. He's all about damage. It's an in the throne. So see your flame tongue will make your face numb. And she lays you out and hits you harder than Chase Young. With that HP burn, make your whole body red. Weaken their defense until the whole line's these are just a couple of samples of champions you can handle There's over 500 other examples you can grab And they constantly update it, don't have to give up payment They always give you a reason to open the app So go and download and click download And go ahead and play Raid With the awesome aesthetic, you will not regret it Cause Raid is a dope game Yo, shout out to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video, and this month they are bringing you some awesome new stuff. Raid just released 11 new champions and added almost 200 brand new missions for you to complete with an exclusive legendary champion as a reward if you manage to finish all of them. And if that's not enough, they just added 5 brand new levels to every single dungeon in the game. So go on download to the description, use my referral link, it helps me out so much and supports the channel more than you guys know, and download this awesome game, and thank you so much to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video now fair warning there will be a ton of pausing in this more than likely because it is an Eminem song and he's super punchline heavy also there's Jack Harlow and Corday who are both super nasty with the punchlines so get ready for a 25 minute video probably be here we go three two one Eminem killer remix featuring Jack Harlow and Corday hey 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 yeah. alright I'm a, a cold-blooded yeah. alright I hear you Jack I'm doing this uh, now count it by 10 yeah, hey. 15, 20, 25, 30. All right, so the yeah, course is still the, the same. Throw it in the furnace. Yeah, this shit be funny. Earn it just to burn it. Swag drip. I used to rock a toboggan. Okay. Headphones around my neck, trying to be like Shady. Now the right. phone is in my pocket, seem to keep vibrating. I got all these Ronnie Bennett's trying to be my baby. Trying to fiance hey. me. I'm taking steering wheel. What you know about the Ronettes, boy? Hey, shout out to the Ronettes. Ronnie, be my, be my, be my little baby. Yo, I love that song. Yo, I like that little punchline right there. We got all these Ronnie Bennett's trying to be my baby. The Ronettes had Be My Baby, one of the greatest fucking songs of all time. Hands around my neck, trying to be like Shady. Now hey, the phone is hey. in my pocket, seem to keep vibrating. I got all these Ronnie Bennett's trying to be my baby. Trying to fiance me. I take the steering wheel and drive them girls beyond crazy. Okay. I'm on a song with my idol. I'm a cold blooded version of the song title. I put these diamonds like in the that. ring like they were Shawn Michaels. I can't put the Louis okay. V inside the wash cycle. Hey, he's just hitting them. He's like, boom, 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 boom. Just punch. Just just to tossing in them punchlines right there. I like that. I like that. Okay, so I'm a cold-blooded version of the title of the song, Cold-Blooded Killer. Uh, yeah, you guys got that. But uh, I put the diamonds in the ring like I'm Shawn Michaels. So I put the stones in the ring, the actual diamonds. But Shawn Michaels probably one of the greatest wrestlers of all time with the sweet chin music in the wrestling ring. You guys get that. Um, obviously drive all these, get behind the wheel, drive all these women crazy. Uh, he's, he's, like I said, he's got some punchlines in there, I'm proud. Ring like they was Shawn Michaels. I can't put the Louis V inside the wash cycle. I take the shit to the cleaners. About to cop me a Beamer. I got a special demeanor. She was mine when I seen her. I'm getting meaner and meaner. Call the front desk and ask for a steamer. I'm a bitch okay. bagger, not a Twitch streamer. I'm eating mm. pizza in Little Italy. Damn, I used to hit Caesars. She about to finish, nice. but wait a minute, it gets deeper. Same kid, just a bit sleeker. Yeah. Now count it by all 10. All right. Yeah. Yo, nice little verse from Sir Jack Harlow right there. I'm eating pizza in Little Italy. I used to hit Caesars. Shout out to Little Caesars, the $5 pizza. That's what, I don't know if you guys have Little Caesars where you're at, but around here in Kentucky, it's just an abundance of Little Caesars everywhere. It's the drunk spot at 1 a.m. If you have five bucks, if you're broken drunk, go to Little Caesars and get you a hot and ready $5 pizza. 15, 20, 25, hey. 30. Yeah, get the money. Throw it in the furnace. Yeah, this shit be funny. Earn it just to burn it. Listen. 
Uh, they say my killing's horrendous. How he's still in the business? Rich as hell and it's feeling tremendous. My Duke's chilling in Venice. Compliments of an elder's descendant. If hell with these ratings, this shit only propel my ascension. I held my okay. position in any situation that's needed. This year I'm shitting on niggas for the way we was treated. I see the impact that all of my creations increase. My step in time with these pantheons, it all was divine. I'm in this moment of my life. Yo, he's so he's so smooth with it, man. I just love his voice for some reason. It just sounds so good. Did he just say pantheons? I hadn't heard pantheon since my Greek mythology class i think it just means royalty so he's just saying like he's spent his time with his pantheons it's so divine like he's he's just saying like he's uh, finally at the royalty stage i believe that's what he's talking about he's just straight talking to shit right there though he's shitting on people for the way that he was treated and now that he's up ready to go dude is dope this year I'm shitting on niggas for the way we was treated Dude. I see the impact of all of my creations increase My step in time with these pantheons, it all was divine I'm in this moment of my life when shit is falling in line and Looking back, I swear to God, you think it all was designed A true movie script, I can't really ever fuck no groupie bitch All she got is diamonds on her mind on some Uzi shit A whole generation okay. of geniuses I'm Oh, she got a diamond. All right, you guys get that, Lil He had the diamond. I don't know if he still has the diamond, but he had the diamond Like imprinted in his skull Diamonds on my mind, like some Uzi shit all she wants is diamonds because she's she's a groupie bitch. Movie script. I can't really ever fuck no groupie bitch. All she got is diamonds on her mind on some Uzi shit. A whole generation of geniuses I'm influencing. I only hang with real niggas who I'm congruent with. I manifest nothing less than the best outcome. Just watch my moves with this next album. Now count it. Yes, sir. Yeah, See, that, I think that's the difference right there. There was a handful of punchlines right there, but he was just straight talking his shit, being the killer that he is. Like, he really went with the theme of the song, being a killer, just talking his shit. He knows he's the shit. Uh, and then Shadow, I'm excited for the next album. I didn't know. Has he announced it yet? I don't think he's announced his, his second album yet. I could be wrong. Shadow Dude is yeah, fucking 15, dope. 20, 25, 30. Yeah, get the money. Throw it in the furnace. Yeah, I'm confused funny. why they're Burn not finishing out the courses though. Yeah, jumping from me. Yeah. My oh. sentences are harsh. Every single bar's like a verdict. I say it with conviction, but this time you're not gonna serve it. But as soon as I read it, you know that you're about to get murdered. When I capital punish, they put you in a box like a juror. Yeah. When I capital punish, capital punish. He had all sorts of court references right there. My bars serve with the vertical. Like, just all kinds of different court references right there. As I read it, you know that you're about to get murdered when I capital punish to put you in a box like a juror. <laughs> if put you in a box like a juror. Okay, dude, that's, that's dope, man. There's so many different, like, courtroom bars right there. Uh... And I just love, I, I still wish I knew what this word was called, what it's called when he says one thing, but it can mean several different things. When I cap, it'll punish, capital punish. Like, I just love, he does this so much. Like, he's like one of the artists I know that does this very fluently and easily. I know several artists that try to do it and can do it once or twice per song, but he'll do it like 50 times a song and you won't even realize it until seven years later when you're in a McDonald's drive through listening to an old album and then you hear it, it's like, fuck, he said that and I just now caught it. That, that's that's the epitome of Eminem's punchline. You know that you're about to get murdered when I capital punish to put you in a box like a juror. <laughs> if there's a rapper I have an eight, we ain't battled either that or they won't collaborate. Cause pattern paper freestyle, we'll settle that debate. I call it guillotine style, cause even off the head I decapitate. Yeah. Okay. Bitch, I go harder than Carter 3. Hold but up. I think you thought it just thought of me. She got a body and bottom like Cardi B. And she be stalking me like I was broccoli. I'm getting brain out like a lobotomy. You probably thinking you had that shit in the bag like it's a colostomy. It's a better look. Ugh, better ugh, colostomy bags. Ugh. Okay, so getting the broccoli. I think he said, he said his ass was fatter than Cardi B? That can't be right. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't expecting the rapid flow right there. That was like supersonic fast. Bitch, I go harder than Carter Hold on. Bitch, I go harder than Carter 3. Carter 3 was fucking insane. Paper freestyle. We'll settle that debate. Yep. I call it guillotine style because even off the head, I decapitate. Mm, that, that's yeah. still dope. Even off the head, I decapitate. That was nice. Bitch, I go harder than Carter 3. What? But I think it thought it just thought of me. She got a body and bottom like Cardi B. And she be stalking uh, me. Oh, shit. I think the thought just thought of me. She got a bottom and body like Cardi B. Okay, she's got the bottom like Cardi B. Tate. Yeah. Bitch, I go harder than Carter 3. What? But I think it thought it just thought of me. She got a body and bottom like Cardi B. And she be stalking me like it was broccoli. I'm getting brain out like a lobotomy. <laughs> you probably think it. She's stalking me like it was broccoli. Broccoli stalks, but she's stalking me. Getting brain like lobotomy. Uh, in my bag like colostomy. Okay, so he's got some punchlines even in the rapid flow. Like when people say he doesn't say anything when he raps fast. Like maybe it's not like life altering information or just like insightful stuff, but it's punchlines. It's still not just like hibbity hibbity flippity ribbity. Like it's still saying stuff. I mean, like it was broccoli. I'm getting brain out like a lobotomy. You probably thinking you that shit in the bag like it's a colostomy it's a better lurch you better skirt but try to get on my level first bitch i'd have to shovel dirt and dig a hole to get on yours you are 
bum bum. Ooh. Look at your broke ass hair. Why you're a bum bum? Why? Cause your shit is so ass. Yeah, it's a little gun gun. She spits it goes hot. Only L that oh, I ever yo, took was when I like lost proof. Yeah. Only time oh, shit. I, yo, I love, I like the little, the ride with the beat. That's why you're a bum bum. But it's broke ass. Like that, I just like when he does that. But uh, you're not on my level. To get on your level, I would have to shovel down six feet deep because you're dead. That's what he's saying. I would have to go all the way down there because you're fucking dead and your level's so much further than mine. Lower. Like, you're a bitch. Those hot dudes. Only hell. Hold on, let me back it up. Just shovel dirt and dig a hole to get on yours, you bum bum. Look at your broke ass. Yeah, that's why you're a bum bum. Cause your shit is so ass. Yeah, you get that. Gun, gun. She spits it goes hot dude. Only L that I ever took was when I lost proof. Yeah. Only time that I ever got served is that lawsuit. When my suit. But bitch, get out of pocket and I might have cost you. I'm a size of a wazoo. Chain chain okay. gun. Probably got more body yaddy yaddies than John do. John do. Just okay, he's doing his little melodic thing right here. My man just used the word a cost in a sentence. That's wild. I, I I keep referring back to college classes. My freshman year of English, I took a class uh, where we had to accuse people of stealing money. And one of the things we had to say was, I accost you! That was like a line in the class. And I think it just means to get back money. Like, you took my money, I want my money back. I think the line before that, he said, get out of pocket, I might have cost you. So if you're out of pocket, as in you're just wilding, you're being fucking stupid, I might have cost you... Um, might saying I want my time back or I want my money back because you get the money out of pocket. There's, there's a different bunch of different ways you can think of that right there. Uh, and then obviously the proof line. The only L I ever took was when I lost proof to uh, his old band member that was shot and killed outside of an or inside of a nightclub. Um, what else? There was one more punchline in there that I'm. Uh, the only time I've ever got served is when Ma sued because his mom sued him over cleaning out my closet and he bought her a new wardrobe. I think is the whole situation. We caught up now? We good? Only L that I ever took was when I lost proof. Yeah. Only time that I ever got served is that lawsuit when Ma sued. But bitch, get out of pocket and I might have cost you. That's cost so dope. Homicides up the wazoo. Chain, chain, God, he probably got more body yaddy yaddies than John do. John. Just call Snoop and I talk to him. We all cool. Yeah. Hey. Me and dog, good dog. We got you. Got a castle with a solid gold floor. Hold I don't up. even got a boat nor do we got a chauffeur, but like show for you don't want to fuck around we'll start hey, no war stop. 20 more years of probably Hold go for just like your lip and you got a cold sore my shit is like motherfucking herpes you ain't never gonna say i don't got it no more Bit literally just look pretty me you kidding me dying laughing's only way you're killing me i'm getting rid of you marshall stop it I, i'm still gonna i still gotta do the stuff from earlier that sounded almost sped up but we'll, we'll get into it in a minute i heard like some pitching stuff um but yeah going back see i done fucking forgot it oh the resolution with, with Snoop Dogg. I love that he addressed that on the track saying, I just talked with Snoop and Dre. We're all cool because a lot of people were freaking out over that. I, was, I wasn't I was freaking out, but I definitely made a video over it. Um, dope. Oh, Snoop and I talked to Oh, what was before that? Oh, Snoop when Ma sued. But bitch, get out of pocket and I might have cost you Oh, yeah, the John Gotti bar. Homicides up the wazoo. Chain, chain, Gotti probably got more body, body yaddy yaddies than John do. And I like them body yaddy yaddies than John do. Like, that was a nice little melodic thing that he going right there. John Gotti. Killed a lot of people, mobsters. Call Snoop and I talk to him. We all cool. Yeah. Dre, me and the dog, good dog. We got you. Got a castle with a solid gold floor. No, I don't. I don't even got a boat, nor do I got a chauffeur. But I like the chauffeur. You don't want to fuck around. We'll start no war. Yeah. 20 more years ago. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I don't know if he caught that right there, but he said, uh, he started off saying, I got a castle with the gold floor. No, I don't. I don't even have a boat or a chauffeur to show for him. If you remember back in like the Nick Cannon days where he accused of M-Dame chauffeur, of sucking his dick or like Eminem paid his show for to suck his dick. So he's just basically bringing that bag up saying, I don't even have a show for. That's funny. Nor do we got a show for, but a lot to show for. You don't want to fuck around, we'll start no war. 20 more years, I probably go for. Just like your lip and you got a cold sore. My shit is like motherfucking herpes. You ain't never going to say I don't got it no more. Okay. Just like your lip and you got a gold sore. My shit, my shit is like herpes. You can never say you don't got it no more. So, uh, and he's, I think earlier he was talking about he's going to stay around for the next 20 years because once you get herpes, it never fucking goes away. So bring tying that all together. Oh, sorry. My shit is like motherfucking herpes. You ain't never going to say I don't got it no more. Bit. Literally, it's the quitting me. You kidding me? Dying laughing. Only way you're killing me. I'm getting rid of you. Get clapped. The committee of the wittiest bitch. I snap like a tibia. You want to get silly with the bar? Okay, snap like a tibia. I've seen a lot of tibia snaps. Shout out to Chris Weidman and Anderson Sylvia. Uh, the only time you're killing me is when you're dying laughing. Or the only time you're killing me is when I'm dying laughing. Uh, obvious punchline right there saying, like, your raps are so bad or you're just fucking stupid that I'm dying laughing at you. So you're not killing me on a track you're killing me because i'm dying laughing you guys get that there's so much happening in this fast as shit verse the only way you're killing me i'm getting rid of you get clapped the committee of the wittiest bitch i snap the chlamydia you want to get right, getting rid of you get clapped like chlamydia the clap is another fucking phrase for chlamydia the only way you're killing me i'm getting rid of you get clapped the committee of the wittiest bitch i snap the chlamydia you want to get silly with the bars i'm frivolous but i'm as pretty and litty as my city is east side till i die bitch i will rep till the end like a chameleon like they're instinct with the pins ink and they're instinct like a fossil i will rep to the end like i'm a chameleon i know chameleons can like change like they can adapt I don't understand that one, but I'm litty to the titty like my city, Detroit. 
I think it's what he's got. Eastside Detroit, Liddy. Bitch, I snap like a tibia. You wanna get silly with the bars? I'm frivolous, but I'm as pretty and Liddy. It's my city. It's Eastside till I die, bitch. I will rap till the end like a chameleon. Like a different state with the pins ink and they're in sync like a faucet. How the fuck do I even think of this ridiculous shit? I'm a quarter of a century. My pins are in sync like a faucet. <laughs> uh, he's just saying like all his rhymes and stuff are in sync. Like they're in tune with each other like a faucet because a faucet is in a sync. Okay. there. I, I have to break this down because it's so fucking fast. And I feel like a lot of people just skip over. They're instinct with the pins ink and they're instinct like a faucet. How the fuck do I even think of this ridiculous shit? I'm a quarter of a century deep, but I can't be beat. Nah. To the day me and the grim reek me. I'm ten toes down till I'm six feet deep. What? Windows down on the Benzie Jeep, hollering at a bimbo. Beep, 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 she said. Alright, ten toes down till I'm six feet deep. I think I've heard that before, but obviously his, his feet are on the ground. He's standing firm until he's six feet deep. He's dead in the ground. I uh, want to get silly and frivolous with the heavens. Do I even think of this ridiculous shit? I'm a quarter of a century deep, but I can't be beat. I'm a quarter of a century deep, and I can't be beat. So saying he's been rapping for 25 years, um, which is almost. Well, it technically is true. Yeah, it is true. Till the day me and the Grim Reek meet, I'm ten toes down till I'm six feet deep. What? Windows down on the Benzie Jeep, hollering right. at a bimbo. Right. Till the day me and the Grim Reek meet, <laughs> the Grim Reap meet, the Grim Reaper meet, ten toes down till I'm six feet deep. Okay, all the death references right there. Jesus, this is hurting my head. Windows down on the Benzie Jeep, hollering at a bimbo. Beep, beep, beep. She says she fucks with an MTV to the MB side, be slim CD. I can see why you envy me, you get no ass like an MTC. So this shit comes with a warning for all of you punks and you corny little fucks. I woke up on my fuck shit this morning. I counted Jesus. Five, ten. Yo, I love how the beat build up right there. I, I like, it just makes the words more impactful. But you get no ass like an empty seat. Obviously, an empty seat has no ass in it. Uh, what was the other one before that? You envy me, you get no ass. I'm ten toes down to them six feet deep. What? Windows down on the Benzie Jeep, hollering at a bimbo. Beep, beep, beep. She says she fucks with an MTB to the MB side, be slim CD. Oh, yeah, that's hard as shit. She fucks with the MTB to the MDB to the inside. He's saying she fucks with Marshall Mathers. Uh, wait, the music to be murdered by CD Part B is what he was just saying right there, but he did all the acronyms and stuff. I see why you envy me, you get no ass like an MTC. So this shit comes with a warning for all of you punks oh and corny little fucks. I woke up on my fuck, fuck shit this morning. morning. I counted five, ten. Jesus, you yeah, did wake 20, up on your fuck 20, shit this morning, 30. Eminem. Yeah, get the money. Hey. Throw it in the furnace. Hey. Yeah, this shit be funny. Hey. Burn it just to burn it. Hey. Sweat dripping from me. Yeah, I'm a bum bum. Bum bum. Bum yeah. bum. I'm a bum bum. That's why you're a bum bum. You broke ass. <laughs> Jesus! All right, I always love when Eminem drops, man. He, he, he keeps my brain sharpened. He, he sharpens the tools up here because he just constantly just... Bleh, he floods these these songs with just ridiculous-ass punchlines that it makes me think and makes the world think, and I'm sure I missed some, but I try my best to catch them all. But, yo, how are you guys feeling about this? Shout-out to Jack Harlow and Corday for doing their thing on this track. Eminem went last. He had this crazy ass, ridiculously fast verse right there at the end. If you guys want me to rap that fast verse in like a YouTube short or something, drop a comment, like this video. If it gets like 10,000 likes or like 2,000 comments, both of those, I'll try it. I'll try to rap that fast verse as a YouTube short on my channel right here. But yo, let me know what you guys thought. If you guys are new, please subscribe. Click that notification bell. Turn into all instead of personalized so you guys never miss a video when I drop it. New music video sometime next week. I'm back on my YouTube shit. This is crazy. All right, that's the end of this video, guys. I love you guys. Shout out to Eminem, and I will see you guys in the next video. Who you know rapping about the shit that they think when nobody else calling all the shots that they make. I could drop us on tomorrow but I wouldn't have to borrow up a mission like these other rappers you think are great. Who you know turning down a couple of hundred grand from a company that wanted to control your whole brand with a five year deal. Everybody's in a dumb but I'm in year one already matched their hand. Who you know rapping that is their own boss. Who you know who's had in the pit it's so raw. Who you know collaborating with the idol that they got a couple canvases of them hanging on the studio wall. Bitch me I'm bad with it.